Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a guided metta meditation. With all of the events that are happening in the world right now, a metta meditation is something that we all really need and could benefit from. A metta meditation is a meditation focused on love and kindness. If you want to meditate with me, then just keep watching. First and foremost, you find a comfortable seat. In my case right now, I'm on the floor, or you can take a seat on a couch, on a chair, just depending on your preference. You can even recline all the way down onto the back. Find some comfort there. Once you have your comfortable seat or recline, then we'll close the eyes. For me, I'm going to keep the eyes open just so that it feels more authentic when speaking to you. You find a soft gaze or allow the eyes to close entirely, just depending on your comfort level with your meditation. Upon finding the appropriate gaze, you allow your movements, your fidgets to become smaller and smaller. Ultimately, letting go of the process of moving so that you can begin to receive stillness. And it's in the still point that we begin to cultivate the breath. Organizing our inhale all the way down to the belly and exploring our exhale. You soften your belly, your ribs, and your heart. Inhale, feel your belly, ribs, heart. Exhale, soften, belly, ribs, and your heart. Now, for a lot of us, our yoga practice, our meditation practice, it's our home, right? And it's always there. The physicality of our yoga studios, they might be momentarily compromised, but our meditation and our yoga practice, our home, it is always there. And we'll start to lean into that at this time with our metta meditation. Our meditation rooted in loving kindness. And in the first layer of metta, we focus on ourself. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free. May I know peace and walk through this life with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free. May I know peace and walk through this life with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free. May I know peace and walk through this life with ease. In the next layer of our metta meditation, we bring to the forefront of the heart and the forefront of the mind someone that we love. May this be a family member, a friend, a partner, someone that we have strong, loving feelings for. May your loved one be happy. May your loved one be healthy. May your loved one be free. May your loved one know peace and walk through this life with ease. May your loved one be happy. May your loved one be healthy. 
May your loved one be free. May your loved one know peace and walk through this life with ease. May your loved one be happy. May your loved one be healthy. May your loved one be free. May your loved one know peace and walk through this life with ease. In the third layer of metta, you are to bring a neutral individual to the forefront of the heart and the forefront of the mind. A neutral individual. Someone that you don't have strong feelings towards in either direction. May this neutral individual be happy. May this neutral individual be healthy. May this neutral individual be free. May this neutral individual know peace and walk through this life with ease. May this neutral individual be happy. May this neutral individual be healthy. May this neutral individual be free. May this neutral individual know peace and walk through this life with ease. May this neutral individual be happy. May this neutral individual be healthy. May this neutral individual be free. May this neutral individual know peace and walk through this life with ease. In the fourth stage, in the fourth layer of metta, you are to bring to the forefront of your heart and to your mind an individual that has caused you stress, frustration, or irritation. An individual that has caused you stress, frustration, or irritation. You feel this person in your heart, your living, beating heart, and you see this person vividly in your mind. May this person be happy. May this person be healthy. May this person be free. May this person know peace and walk through this life with ease. May this person be happy. May this person be healthy. May this person be free. May they walk through this life with ease. May this person know peace and walk through this life with ease. May this person be happy. May this person be healthy. May this person be free. May this person know peace and walk through this life with ease. Last but certainly not least, our efforts 
become more courageous. And we send metta to all beings, loving kindness for all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your meditation is continuous, that it is ongoing. And through this time, may our hearts be steady. May our minds be steady. And may our intentions, our efforts benefit all beings. Be gentle. Stay calm as you allow the eyes to open and small movements, small changes delivered through the fingertips, the toes, the tongue. And as if you were awakening for the first time today, take a full body stretch, arms one way and legs in another. Without overcomplicating it, you start to move in a way that feels good. And once you feel awake and full of life, you'll make your way up to a comfortable seat if you were reclined. And together we draw hands to the heart. With this blending of head, heart, and hands, one last time we acknowledge the teachings of metta. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. At this time, we call upon the support from Mother Earth and our higher power. Whether your higher power is love, God, grace, the universe, and we ask that the Mother Earth and our higher power supports us in replacing our fears with faith. Replacing our fears with faith. May our hearts be steady, our minds be steady, and our faith be steady. We trust in the teacher of impermanence. And with that, we bow the chin softly towards the chest. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close this meditation with a soft collective bow. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Again, my name is Caitlin, and truly from the bottom of my heart, it was my pleasure to guide you through the meditation. If you enjoyed, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Over the next two weeks, I do plan to upload and share with you different meditations and different physical practices. 
So I hope to see you in my next video. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And one more thing, if there is anything specific that you would like me to focus on or share with you guys, I'm totally open to suggestions as I'll have a little more time on my hands to focus on sharing this kind of content with you. Have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.